there is just a great deal of, of music, um, of course, that's written for these very, this very moving season. And um, there is a great um, sense that choirs convey um, something r rather important in this season. So um, we offer our carol services and um, our, our service at the um, celebrations of the Mass during the, the Christmas season, and it's um, very intense. Christmas, we're pretty much every week, almost every day, we have to rehearse, and usually there's a performance sometime near the actual date of Christmas, like one every other day. Once you hit the middle of December, they have something almost every day. Um, and not just, you know, not just a, a 515 mass, they will have uh, evening rehearsals for two and a half hours. Um, and then they have their masses, their Sunday masses, and then they have the carol services two in a row. The next day they have the ceremony of carols, and they have a day off, and then they have another carol service, and they have midnight mass. Christmas is one of the busiest days in our whole year because um, the girls have to sing Christmas Day, and then the boys have to sing midnight mass. It's very demanding on the children, um, but it is incredibly rewarding knowing that thousands of people have crossed the, the door, or have gone through the doors of the cathedral. You always have to remember they're children. Children are so much more resilient than adults. Um, and so while they might, you know, they, they're also more unpredictable than adults though. <laughs> but um, while they may be really tired, if you um, model for them, you know, you can do this and, and you talk with them and, and show them that you believe in them, they will rise to the occasion. I think uh, the Christmas season is very rewarding after you're done with all of the performances and all the concerts and all of those because they're really hard and they take a long time to prepare for.